Hello friends, welcome to AI Flux. So it's been less than 24 hours since Falcon 180B was released, which is basically considered the most performant open source LLM available today. And what's crazy is George Yurinov of GGML, uh, an open source project that takes uh, a lot of these LLMs like Llama, converts them into C++ or modifies them in some way, and it makes it possible to run them on Apple Silicon specifically. So he's already taken this model and got it running on the M2 Ultra. So a model that we thought would take at least um, eight NVIDIA A100 GPUs running full tilt just to do inference, which means just to send it a prompt and get a response back, is now running on a computer you can go buy at the Apple Store right now. And what's crazy is, you know, an 8X A100 machine would be in the realms of $40,000. So the fact that you can run this sensibly with a 4-bit quantization on a $5,000 Apple computer that you can buy today is absolutely insane. And what's even more interesting is this actually isn't using speculative decoding, which was behind some of the early breakthroughs of running LLMs on Apple Silicon wildly fast. It was a trick that made addressing memory much faster, and in some cases meant that you could actually run these models faster on Apple Silicon than NVIDIA GPUs. But in this case, we know Georgie from this tweet here uh, is not actually using that. He's using a 4-bit quantization, which results in a model that takes up about 100 gigabytes of disk space. And what's really cool is the bloke has already released this, so they're calling this the Falcon 180B Chat GGUF model. What's also cool is, in theory, you could also run it in uh, a 6-bit quantization. There was some confusion here because, basically, um, there's a difference between the working set size and the data that actually represents the weight. So this is incredibly cool. And what's also interesting is there are also some interesting ways to run this entirely in uh, CPU. So Nistin actually has created a way where you can run this, uh, granted incredibly slowly, um, very slowly, at about 1.8 tokens per second and caching to an NVMe disk all on CPU, which is also kind of nuts. Now granted, uh, this is with a 26 core CPU, so I wouldn't exactly recommend this, but uh, there are also some people on Reddit that have looked into this and have I think they were using a, yeah, an Epic 7502P 32 core processor, which is actually even cheaper. That's, uh, if you go on eBay, those are like maybe $300. An absolutely wild day for open source LLMs. Um, the outputs are quite impressive. And as always, you know, I think the GGML project is absolutely leading the pack in all of this development. And it really points to the fact that uh, in time, we think that a lot of this will be able to run on all Apple devices. We also found out this week that Apple is spending supposedly millions of dollars a day on AI training for conversational AI that in theory, they will probably be using on all of their devices at some point. You can also expect um, the latest Apple Silicon that has yet to be released for iOS devices to probably have some more reloose and uh, optimized hardware to run these models. So it's cool you can run this on a Mac kind of slower than you would with A100s, but what does it really mean? My interpretation of this or my opinion of this is that it's presenting a new advantage technologically that doesn't necessarily just apply to GPUs or just apply to a single platform. So a lot of these tools are seen as platform independent in that some only run on NVIDIA and others require other specialized hardware. And the edge has been a, a space that has sort of been developing in a weird way. So some people look at the edge and say, oh, but, you know, we can run very small models that can look at very basic things like security cameras that can recognize basic shapes, but nothing too high power. And what's cool with this is that um, this is starting to give a bit of that advantage to everyone. And it's showing that models that are very, very capable can actually run on the edge and don't actually need GPUs in some case. Of course, developing these requires tons of GPUs, but just running them, it's wild to see how efficient these are getting and how quickly it's happening. So, you know, first, a few months ago, we were thinking, oh, like, Llama, like everyone is saying, you know, with the leaked meta Llama model, that there's no way anyone could run this without, you know, a supercomputer. And what's crazy was in about two to three weeks, it was already running on iOS devices and uh, Mac OS. And what's crazy now is there are actually versions of Llama that can run on a Raspberry Pi, granted with reduced capability, but more capability than I think anyone would have been willing to bet on uh, in the weeks prior. And in closing, I think it totally makes sense that um, GGML was one of the recipients of the second round of the AI grant, which were some um, big time AI founders who have decided to give GPU resources and uh, grants to people that are doing really impressive open source work in AI right now. So again, uh, definitely go check out uh, the GitHub, download the model. If you have an M2 Ultra, definitely try this out. I wanna hear how well it works. 
And um, yeah, if you liked our content, please like and subscribe. We hope you learned something and we'll see you in the next video.